It's Tomo time. Because last time, I think we were just getting cut up and I was... I was fucking dying. Oh, oh. oh so we're gonna do play this bit again. Maybe? Oh. Uh, I have a premonition. I think that this is an unforgiving battlefield. Oh wait, hold up. Okay. We chose the proper option this time. Hmm. I hadn't thought of it that way, but now that Caster brings it up, I suppose I can't deny it. I can say as the soul of Kixer Doya that the woman certainly made an impression on me. Hi, Seth. But even so, I have no intention of cheating. Even if I do respect the maiden in white, I still have the heart of a gentleman. So, so no yoni, Head pats. Yeah, um, so because we didn't move on to the next chapter, we get to do this over again, so we get to choose the proper option. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, we saw this again. Won't be the perfect wife anymore. Yeah, but now we actually have the bond level. Let play oh. You should have said so beforehand. Okay. Um Install skills. Did we get no we did not. Although, if we wanted to, hold on. Increases double phantasm power. Okay. It's really a glorious scene though. Yes, it is. And um according to Drake, the ending is even better than that. So, I have my hopes up. Uh, normal attacks by kill. Oh, wait, fuck. What did I just replace? That's supposed to go down here. Um. Shazen. Uh. Fire damage, I believe. And also, let's replace poison with this. And then frost with this, because poison apparently d does horrible, horrible things to the enemy bosses. Okay, let's actually rest now. Laughter in the capital of roses. Mar Aram. Er, Mare Aram, I believe is pronunciation. I'm, I'm 95% sure it's Latin. We're going out for a walk. Nope, we're reclining on here. Okay. And we're down a general. Tama is in one of her moods today. It's it's best we don't disturb her. That's poetic. Lou gives his unintelligible growling. This is for freedom. Wait, we're America now? What? What? When did that happen? <laughs> People aren't unified yet. That's just the new ones. Live free in paradise. Holy crap, we're just a- we're literally the American dream. <laughs> hey! Ace! Welcome back, man! It's been a while! Bit early for a stream, isn't it? Yes! Yes it is! And yet, we're playing anyway because Fox Wife. Nice cup of sake. Never too early for stream. Eh, I mean, you know, one o'clock in the morning is early. Now that I never stream them. New mod. Ah, uh, temporary. Yeah. I needed someone who was able to cover your shift, your usual shift. Yin Dynasty milder than he Hien. I know the Yin Dynasty. I don't remember Hien. One eternal land. Oh, what was the Heian era? Or was that Japan? Just a bit more what? Check that. Holy crap, we are America. Everyone lives free and in paradise. We cut down anyone who stands in our way. Oh. Great. 
Hi, traitor. What have you done with Eliza? Feck off, Archimedes. Oh yeah, Ace, we've achieved the true timeline, finally. We are in the correct stance. So-called base. I wouldn't really call it a base so much as a city-wide hot spring. Hooray, we can finally end the stupid war. But not really, because we all, we all know what's going to happen. At least Seth, Seth does anyway. He was there last night. He knows. Well, not last night. Night before. Last night was a break. Funny that you call her self selfish, considering your whole thing. Blech. Will this really be the final battle? It seems that way. If nothing else, this war will bring the regalia, regalia back together. After I get back, I should apologize to Elizabeth for making her worry. Ah, uh, apologies aren't the things you're first going to come to mind. Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Elizabeth since this morning. I wonder where she could be. Hmm. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Make me a promise. Oh no. Is it gonna be a safe work promise? I'm gonna guess no. What kind of promise? Bond that'll pay dividends. Is she gonna offer Snoo Snoo? <laughs> Incident. Oh. The mild... The... <laughs> the cock-blocking from Altera. Right. Oh, right, was that Elizabeth? Let me check, because I know it's dumb shit I talked about. Is it going to be to stay alive? All the decisions. For some reason, I'm not surprised. Also, what 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 specifically did I say? Ah, yes, I'm being cockplucked by the main antagonist of this game. <laughs> ah, that was edict from the queen. So, in other words, let the AI do everything. Got it. Yes, ma'am. Without a word, I nod my understanding. For all her vast empire, all her riches, what she fears losing the most is me. Ah, fuck. I got something stuck up my nose and it's really irritating. Ugh. I wonder how. I wonder if this is how Fonto feels. He sleeps in late and has a stuffy nose the rest of the day. That would that would explain several things, actually. Most gentle and vulnerable. Well, uh, I guess we know what Fa what Tamo sees in her ideal men. Oh, he's so Say. <coughs> I just think I need water. And terror. Oh. You can't make the fox wife sad. She wants to take the lead. Okay. No, no bond event. I mean, we're level 13. Um, where, where's, where's the hot spring? I know there's a hot spring scene in here. I know there is. I wish to see it. I mean, what's our side minute? Use code cast three times. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter because we've already gotten, um, gotten what we need. Actually, we're bond level 13. The last install skill unlocks at 14, so doing this side mission will leave us in a very good place. Now we're going to do easy again because we've learned that normal gets me killed. Oh, it's the first map from Nero's campaign where she wrestles a fucking lion. Okay, so this is... Masculine statues. Okay, so this is where the timelines... This is where the timelines diverge, because we are now assaulting Nero's capital city, which is what happened in the first mission of Nero's campaign. Time uh, according to Drake, after this point, um, events diverge. Picky then. So what strikes you more? The western or the eastern capital? Fuck. Um, if I were forced to pick one, mumble mumble, I think both have their good points. Hmm. Hi, Christ. Sorry, I could have sworn you said something. <laughs> she does not like that answer. Are we not allowed to choose? Oh, great. Hi, Eliza. Fuck off. Well, it's mostly designed for the dress thing she normally has. Yeah, it's very much designed for the kimono. Hi, Eliza. Uh, well, Dark Ellie. That or the um, mm, bondage suit from Fade Extra CC, which I apparently have. <sighs> John Squeals from I Am Really Piggies. Yep. Allow me to present Idol Ellie, the most annoying ver character in this game. Second only to uh, what's his traitor face. The song is good. Her, not so much. The tail was okay, but honestly, I'd rather take like Toru or, or not Kana. That's that's jailbait. That's how you get arrested. Um. Lukua, that's a good one. Get your ass down here and let's take care of business. Pretty much. Yeah, Lukua or Toru is fine. And, um... What's her, what's her name? What's the name of the other one? The one with the horn. She, she is more for head padding than looting, I think. Speaking of lewds... That's... Honestly, more revealing than the lingerie that you can buy in this game. <laughs> the elixir. <laughs> the hell is that chest area? Non-existent. <laughs> um, I'm gonna guess elixir stands for alcohol here, or drugs, or both. I mean, Sora Online taught us that digital drugs exist, so clean my palace. Worse than hyper in his lane. Yep. Shove my resignation letter right in Ryder's face. You shove something in Medusa's face and you didn't die? What? Uh. Well, she has my mild impressed. I'm mildly impressed by that fact. Uh, 
Hmm. Wait, Hipper. Who? Probably didn't care and hoped it wouldn't happen. I mean, considering her ending for this game, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if she just went like, oh, all right then, and walked away. Because, um, yeah, she doesn't really give a crap about Tamo. Or her plans. Sparkle. <laughs> it doesn't even do anything. It just says sparkle. <laughs> oh, I think I'm losing it. <laughs> I really think I'm losing it. Tomo is not impressed. Dark Elizabeth. She never changes. Caster holds a cold, steady gaze. It looks like she's got nothing to say. Before I can stop myself, I mutter... You've got to be ripping off somebody. Okay, who do we... What do we choose? Who are you supposed to be? Um, what? Or, you've got to be ripping off somebody. That's what just... Eliza just whispered the word sparkle with jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta be ripping off somebody. Is she actually ripping off someone though? <laughs> Tamo is still not impressed. Okay, let me put it all together. Caster treated Elizabeth unfairly, until Elizabeth couldn't take it anymore and revolted. Caster was the master to Elizabeth's servant, the queen to her scullery maid. This is the moment where the tables turn. Maybe. But if that's the case, there's one thing I don't understand. How did Elizabeth become free? How did she disappear dispel the Gios caster cursed her with? <laughs> Told you that Tomo still endorses Sabre, which I don't. One one complaint about Fox Wife is she doesn't really give a shit about others. Apart from Master. Um Ace, I don't know if you're still here, but what specifically did Dark Eliza do? I know we've talked about it before, but I forget the specifics. Oh, so she's just Elsa then. She doesn't want to have to be the good girl. She doesn't want to be the girl you have to be. Good girl you have to be, apparently. Violate? Hold up there. Hold on a second. That's not allowed. No violation on Twitch. I don't want to get banned. Uh, personal playground. So, Tamo, but flatter. Noted. I'd like to see you try. Social Shears Violation. No, Social, go away. Go, shoo. Back in your little dungeon. I highly doubt that. <sighs> back lot. Uh, yeah, she is, and I think that's part of the dress. So. Is this supposed to be why she tried to steal the regalia when she talked to Nero, or is that just the equivalent of her conversation with Nero? King of Terror from Mars. Hmm. The Great King of Terror. I swear I've heard that phrase somewhere before. Wait, didn't we look that up and we got a song or something? Hold on. My memories of Nero's arc have already faded. The timeline is erasing itself. We're course correcting back to the proper line. Um. 
Yeah, the only thing that comes up is King of Terror from Doctor Who. Oh, wait. No, because I added Mars. So, Great King of Terror. Which is Nostradamus. I think. And it's the evil Tamo face, which means she's going to be berating an evil. Astrology. Oh, that's probably it. Next job. Ouch. Court jester. Huh. Unless it's the court jester from the Overlord games, in which case you whack the jester around with an axe. Or kick him. Combo throwing the burn effect. Diva. Um, I mean, you technically have a robot form. Well, two robot forms. Declare war. Huh, interesting. Uh, you and what army? Because I don't see an army. I see. Actually, I see her panties now that I think about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see from that angle, but, um, yeah, her skirt is very revealing from this, like. Okay, bye. She disappeared. Like, at least Nero pointed it out. Or made a joke about it. I don't see an army, I see a pick squeak. Exactly. We're about to face Saber for the last time, and now this gets thrown into the mix. Goodbye, Blue Dragon. <laughs> dark Ellie, Dark Eliza, Dark Elizabeth. Whatever. Regardless, she's serious about wanting the regalia. You will be missed, Blue Dragon. <laughs> Until, you know, she shows up again for the third campaign. Which we have to play through. Yay. Jump change. You know, after the Tombo campaign, I'm not gonna enjoy the other one the other two as much. I hope you realize this. The Tamabo campaign is going to be the highlight for me. Because, um, unless Altera is secretly, like, really kind and caring, I'm not going to enjoy it, because I'm not into fem very intense femdom, like, prisoner stuff. That's not appealing to me. That actively makes me cringe. Good luck doing that. The sun's like several million miles. No. Several million astronomically. Y I'm sorry, what? Oh. So just permanent space beams. No, Gawain's just super powered now. I mean, you know, I'd love to, but... Oh, hi! We are right in enemy territory, huh? Oh, crap. It's those things. Jump. Kill that. Okay, there. We've killed the annoying spam bot. Well, uh, exactly one astronomy. Noted. I am not good with astronomy. That. Ah! Oh, he's just shown up. Hi, Gawain. Um, I wasn't ready. So, uh, excuse me one moment while I grab all the bottles of sake. He just grabbed his sword from the sun. Yes, he did. I mean, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. 
And now we cast Nova Bomb again. Because reasons. Alright. Come here. Uh, all of your friends, because fuck them. Screw the Berserker aggressors. I hate them so much. And they can burn and void. Also, I just realized we are losing pretty badly. Although I don't know if it's actually possible for us to lose. Ow! Okay, we might have to come back to this place. Feck off, Archimedes! Although... No, because Lancer is good against... Or, um... Archer is good against Sword Saber. Shit. Okay. I think... I think we need to go and deal with the other enemies. Literally everywhere else. Although he's gonna follow us around, which is gonna be annoying. Oh, he's just following us, so I think... Oh, lead go way into Lu Bu's area. That's what we need to do, okay. Yeah, so we just got a bucket and... Oh, that's... That is some damage! I just noticed that. That is not good. Alright. Swoop in here, grab this. Then flee this way. So we need to lead him over here. Hello, Lubu. And I guess we may as well go help out Ryder while we wait for him to realize what he wants to do. That is going to involve nuking everything. That should be good. Clap. Should be it? No, we need more. We need more death. Alright, now Gawain's coming over here. Which is not what we want. Not yet, anyway. Ow! Shit! He hits hard. Oh, we have to take over the sunlit sectors. Okay. So, in other words... We just have to time trial it. So we have to take over the sectors before he can get up. Or he can get there. Ow. He's gonna kill me. Alright, where's the other one? There he is. Um. Oh, Leash One killed him. Where is the other one? Not here, okay. That's not what I meant to do. Dodge! And then we go this way, down, and down again. Going this. So we have two out of three pieces. Let's murder everything here and see how many kills that gets us. Let me go down. I don't really want to deal with Assassin right now. Not until Gain Gawain's dead, because killing Gawain is going to be the hardest part. And having Assassin bothering me is... Not gonna help. Nuke. 
all of the aggressors into oblivion, please. Conquer this, go over. Oh, hey, we leveled up. Ah! That's not fair. Oh, he's probably killing Medusa right now. Which is probably why we wanted to get him over to Lubu. Thinking about it now. Because Lubu can do a little bit more damage. Crap. Alright, so down, over, and up. Damn straight, Karna. Ow! Where is he? There we go. So how many can, can we kill with just this one thing? I'm gonna say enough. Got enough to get two of three. Or two out of three out of five, excuse me. Assuming I can actually aim and target these guys. And then for the moon crux, I'm gonna use that probably on Gawain or the Assassin. Or I'll save it for the boss, which I believe is Nero. But As far as Nero is concerned, that would be our Phantasm, which I still need to find. Although I'm pretty sure I get it for harassing Nero in the boss fight. Why are the aggressors not spawned yet? There we go. Okay, what are they? Oh, they're both Juggernauts. That's not what, not what I wanted at all. There we go. So we can get a little bit of damage off. Though the Nova Bomb should nuke him. Dead. Okay, one more. And it's the one we were originally at, I believe. Yep. This one's gonna be annoying to conquer everything. Oh, this one was literally done, it's just that it had the freaking knight here. There we go. Now, there is a certain plant that go needs to go die. Also take the Yakisoba. So I get the feeling that Medusa is going to die soon if we don't do something. However, this plant is going to invade one of the sectors we need to actually defend. Where'd he go? up here. Flamethrower for the win. Ah! Archers. Actually, what's the class that's good against casters? I think it's Lancer class. Okay, where are you? Is he still powered up because he's technically invading this one sector? I 
think it's the former. Um, yeah, I don't think we were supposed to have him invade here. Alright, Gawain. Well, oh wait, we just got full EM. Oh, we still hit our target. If this doesn't kill him, I'm probably going to use the Moon Crux. And nuke him with the Railgun. I'm fairly certain it's a Railgun at this point. Uh, yeah, that's enough for a railgun use. Transformation time! Oh, our, re our weakness is Rider, not Caster. Railgun. Railgun is not doing what I thought it would. Which is very irritating. And the sun was cooled by the ice. Hee <laughs> hee. The power of the Mega Fizz. No, the power of the railgun. Ally territorial victory. Okay, and now we go conquer the other three things. Oh, Medusa's moving to go and fight Assassin. Who actually has the higher ground, the advantage, I think? I actually am not sure. Yeah, Assassin has the advantage, so it'd be better if we went to go deal with him. And we kind of have to. Alright, well, let's go help Medusa kill Assassin then, as she's blitzkrieging her way over there. So. This way. This. Down. There's the portal. The chat, Castro Chonsessa. I know, I saw, that's what I was using. No, I want to kill Assassin! My EX demands it, although, considering the amount of damage we took on easy, I, um, I don't think we're gonna get an EX on this one, guys. That's not in the cards. Ow! Come here. That's not who I meant to hit. I mean, he'll get caught in the blast, but still, not who I wanted to hit with that. Boom. Kind of BS a Berserker is just better than every class. Eh, it's Berserker. The trade-off is that Berserker is strong to everyone, but also weak to everyone. It's a glass cannon. Well, as glass as you could be <laughs> as a Berserker. Oh, he almost died from that. Huh. And I'm pretty sure we do increase damage to him as a caster. Ow! Alright, Medusa, you deal with him. I'm gonna kill the other aggressors. Okay, bruh. Dude, you gotta back off. Alright, where is... Where's the last one, or is it just him? Tag team! He won't die! There we go! He got hit with the Madarasu's mirror. Is that the disadvantage's ability? Is that a D&D joke? Because I don't get it. Alright, thank you, Medusa, for helping. Now, if you could help me go kill the plant, maybe? Possibly? No? Oh, okay. Yes, it was. Oh. You're... Okay. Means 
very low intelligence. I mean, not necessarily. There are some pretty smart berserkers. It's just that they can't speak. Like Einstein, like Frankenstein's monster was really smart. She just couldn't speak at all. Also, Tomo Cat, Berserker class. Well, she can speak, but. No, it would be. Uh, I don't know. I don't think she has vocal cords for Frankenstein. Like Tomo Cat, she can speak. She's Tomamon. She's an aspect of Tomamonamai, which means she's very intelligent and cunning. And possibly plotting the demise of the original Tamamonamai. It's really just a civil war with her at all times. Alright, where's the last one? Where did he get knocked to? Oh. How did I miss you? I'm a little cat smart. Hey, she can make an omelette and wear an apron. I'd classify that as based as at least somewhat advanced intelligence. Expect Wow! Medusa does not expect much of us, does she? I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Can't hurt much. Okay, that plant is getting really close. We gotta wrap this up quickly. Berserkers do not like flamethrowers. Noted. Scoot, 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 scoot. Ah, we got it in time. I know you do, Tombo, which is why we're murdering it. Ow! Archers are annoying. I hereby ban all and any and all archers in this game. Oh, I guess we do have a counter. I've just never really bothered to use it. Dodge around and press the heavy attack button. We can only go up from here. I do not see the other phantasm circuit, which leads me to believe that Nero has it. And I desperately want it. So that we may call upon the heavens and rain down holy and frozen hellfire. That was a new combo. I want to say that's a poison wind. Because it has a distinct kind of purplish hue. And as there isn't any air element in this game, it only poison. I mean, I suppose you could argue that it's uh, frost. But... We made Tamo happy and we conquered everything. Let's go knock down the false emperor. And Fox. What are you mumbling about over there? Sakura isn't here. I mean, technically she is, but that would be BB and Passion Lips, and um, <clears throat> those are not safe for work. I'm here. Um, Emperor Saber. Oh boy, what question is this gonna be? Yes. What will you wish for with your royal authority? Like, uh, first thing. uh, that would be because my mother came in. The regalia. Once I restore it, I'm sure I'll be able to wish for anything I want, and the moon self itself will give it to me. But on the spot, I can't think of anything in particular. 
It's an odd little paradox. Humans don't always want what they can easily have. I know this to be true. <laughs> Besides, I already have everything I want. If I had to choose a wish right now, I might wish for Castor's special breakfast, or for a nice present to give her, to give her something she'd like. We are like the best husband. <laughs> You know, when we're not having fantasies about other people. Getting a nosebleed. That's not possible! Scientifically, it's not possible to be given a nosebleed at arousal. I looked this up, by the way. Which is probably one of the dumbest things I've had to look up. Oh, do we actually get options here? Luxury. Okay. Out of out of the game, what would you guys wish for if you could have anything? Any if this digital realm could give you anything, what would it be? Tom would be greedy. You misspelled greedy. <laughs> um, actually, no. I want my full dive technology with the ability to create my digital, con digitally constructed realm so that I might retreat there and never have to deal with the pains of the physical world and interacting with real humans because those pe things have given me PTSD and paranoia. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Give me my fucking digital waifus. Uh, the finest wife. Oh, you already had that. She's right. I don't need to wish for the finest wife. I already have her to stand by. For some reason, I feel like we're gonna get the snoo snoo. Or attempted snoo snoo. Oh boy. Wild side. What the hell did we get up to during Fate, ex Fate Extra? I have questions. What kind of danger we're in. Do we not actually get an option to choose? No. No we do. I mean, you kind of just popped in here and then started talking. By the end of the game, a trial starts with the Count ruling guilty for attempted death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> Wait, that's the Phantasm music. Uh oh. <laughs> Nervous noises. Very nervous noises. Thank you, Nero? Question mark? Oh. Once fought his allies. Yeah, you fought his allies, and then as soon as you got to the core, you both pushed each other aside and created different timelines. Good job. <sighs> True. Hey now. Let's not start throwing insults, eh? Tamo is not impressed by your speeches. And right now, neither am I. It's ironic because I know what's going to happen in the next game. Ouch. <laughs> it sounds like the beginning of an alternate Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. Japan managed to get the navy before Rome, swept all through the Rus all throughout Russia, got to Europe, and conquered the Italians and Romans. Marvelous. Oh. Shit. Only to find young ladies, not you. Wait. Then why are you falling all over the freaking Praetor? Uh oh. Uh. Danger. 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 
Yeah, like, I know that. I was just pointing that out. Um, danger noises. Wait. Oh shit! She already has her crux out. Ah! Run away! Dodge roll to safety. I don't have my other noble phantasm circuit. Where is she? There you are. Got him. Spam B. Lower my head for Oh. Yeah, that's not surprising. All of your army is dead. Now please give up that last noble phantasm circuit. Drake, how do I make her give up the noble phantasm? I wish to engage in... Can you look it up, please? Ah! I'm just gonna move around and murder all of her allies. Make her give it up. Then how do I get the... Oh, no, wait. I think I know how. I think we have to stop her from casting her noble phantasm. And then we acquire the last circuit we need. Is I believe how it works. Ow! I don't think she's gonna cast her noble phantasm. I think she's going to be incredibly stubborn about this. And I countered. Where is she? Yeah, oh. Cast your double phantasm, damn it. Let me give a show for the audience. Fine. Have a rail gun. And poison. Mostly poison. Almost exclusively poison. Stop guarding, you coward. She's just guarding. She's refusing to let me do any damage. <laughs> what? That's not fair. She's just guarding now. How do I make her stop guarding? Because I don't think I can defeat her otherwise. Uh. Do we have to do this over again? I'm worried we might because she's not moving. Game. Game. I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm gonna look this up. One second. Near shield glitch. I don't think anyone else has encountered this issue before. Hmm. The action thing. Yeah, the... Oh! There she goes! I don't know what the hell that was about, but that was dumb. Oh, use a maneuver on the enemy. 
Ah, uh, yeah, that could have worked. Anyway, sadly, we cannot give her off with a bang, so we're gonna burn her with a flamethrower instead. <laughs> we win. Achievement unlocked! I'm the true heroine! Indeed. This is the true timeline after all. Cuteness. Wait, we got an EX on damage taken? Okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the EX rank. Uh, attack and defense went up. Ah, uh, nothing notable. We got extra tech against fire. Uh, mana recovery is high. And we can get more maximum health, I believe. Oh, what? Uh, that wasn't the mission we were given, though. Uh, that's that's annoying. So we failed all? Of, no, we failed. We didn't fail two of them. That's okay. Hmm. Yes, now give up your ring. Or is she going to have a heartfelt confession now? I'm pretty sure the Earth is dead. Like, I'm 95% sure that the Earth is completely uninhabitable. Tabo does not care about the Earth. For it does not <clears throat> satisfy any of her indulgences, or pleasures, or wishes, like the digital realm, so she it can burn for all she cares. Stronger than the earth, leave it at that. Gaia would like to have a word with you. She's not happy. Where's a Titania? Tiamat, that's what I'm thinking of. Tiamat. Handlebars and heart eyes. We will protect her. Because this is what happened at the alternate timeline. The moment I witness it, I sympathize with him for doing the obvious. Kixer Doya stands and protects Saber. I've never had that kind of conviction, but if it were Caster's life at stake, I'd like to think I'd do the same thing. Okay, is this just... Drake, is this a mirror? Is it going to be the same thing? Because... I'm not really in the mood to see Dero spill her confession when we've already had that for, like, the entirety of the last campaign. Mm. Personality. Maybe? Wisdom. Yes, however, I'm afraid that he's the false, he's the false me. We're gonna have to kill him. He doesn't care. He, he's... Obviously. He's gonna say I choose Saber. He refuses. He never would. There's no way he's coming over to our side. He belongs next to Saber. He has decided to stay with her, just as I've decided to stay next to Caster. Until the very end, there's no difference. Uh-oh. Her face slips just a tiny bit. I wonder if I'm the only one to notice. Her mood, her tone, even the way she stands and breathes. I spot all those cues. A number of cracks and peels form in Castor's queen persona. I can almost see one or two of her millions of pent-up feelings slipping out. So, so uh oh. Also, her tail is clipping between her thighs. I would like to point that out. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be able to see that. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Maximum floof. <laughs> uh, 
Wait, no, Tabuma was the true protagonist, though. Nero, what did you do? What did you do, Nero? So wait, did Tamo not win? I'm so confused. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing anyone says once they've been engaged to. But that's just me. That you were not special. Because when everyone's super, no one will be. Points to whoever gets that reference. So are we actually going to defeat Nero, or is she just going to escape? My guess is on the second option. The incredible duh. Thank you, Drake. Wait! We actually did it? What? We actually... Uh, apparently we won. Oh, wait. How could I forget? Eliza. Obviously. This is a new music track, though. Smug Fox time. So, she actually did keep it, and Eliza is gone. Is it here? Deception in the West. They hear the call. Of Okay, so that is definitely a reference to her actual real-world counterpart. Uh-oh. Concerned husband noises. Okay, now where is Altera coming in? Our gaze is locked in place. Most wizards would wither at the mere sight of Caster's eyes. I don't know whether her heart or her magic have the stronger hold on me, and I don't care. I don't look away from her gaze. I stare back into Caster's golden eyes as they cling to me. There are d yeah. There are no other thoughts in my mind right now. Nothing more important than her. <sighs> Nero, there's no need to be a sore loser. Seriously. Lend you the regalia. So, she refuses to admit defeat, but will willingly lend it to me. So, are we actually going to unite the Praetor this time? Oh, nope, she's taking him with. <sighs> I am literally dying, and you people can't put me back together! Uh, you lost your lover at the last moment. What? What? Uh, I'd have to look at her fate wiki for that one. I believe the fate extra 
her death was her people she lost her people's love so she went out one day and died upon a rock and her last words were to a Roman soldier who passed by oh Altera did nope there he is all right you and we'll just speak to him. Great. レガリアの再統合にはシステムにしてある私の固有スキルが必要となります。そのためこうして派生さん自体次第。Must move. So how is his betrayal going to fit into this one? Or is Kashta going to have predicted it because she distrusts him as much as I do? I'm gonna go with option number two. Could move along. How about no? He spins lies as fast as I eat pizza, which is a rather incredible rate. Then, usually, often to my detriment. Pizza is good. Eating five pizza slices at once is not good. Although, I haven't tried that yet. Archimedes seems slightly rushed. I'm not the only one who sees that. Fuck, now I'm hungry. Damn it! Castor sees it too. She stands beautifully, as always, but I can see quivers of caution in her fingertips. No one says a word. Even the air stands still. The thrills and terrors of the battle with Saber have washed away. Castor's cold and vicious queen persona is fading. Sensing what Archimedes is trying to do, she reverts to her natural self and... There it is. There she is. Where did that voice come from behind us? Ah! She came from the ceiling! What the fuck? What? Last time she, like. What? Um. Up above? From right over our heads, Dark Eliza. She drops in and grabs something. I know she has wings, but how did we not hear this? And how did she sneak in here? I, I have questions. Like, in the Nero arc, she kind of just appeared from the side. This time it's from above. I mean, that's what she is. Please don't make the... Hooray for reverse psychology. Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkles. <laughs> Oh boy. Grand, dainty, sneaky entrance. Okay, granted, it was sneaky and very dainty, considering things. But the title says Elizabeth. She scolds me. Dark Ellie, Dark Ellie. I'll just call her Deli for short. <laughs> No, I really can't. <laughs> well, she's a new deli. She's a picky little dragon. We all knew that. Tamo is not impressed. Childhood friend who's sick of being treated like a kid. This is a fucking harem plot. Oh my god. It's a fucking slice of life romance harem esque plot. 
They're even filing all the tropes. <laughs> yeah, put it on. We know it's gonna happen. <sighs> Especially the one where the childish friend doesn't win. Which is pretty much... Well, actually most harem anime... Where... What's a good example of an anime where that actually does happen, and it is the childhood friend? It, no! You'll be roasted alive, Deli! The amount of mana is tremendous. I don't need an analy analysis codecast to see the negative amount... Whatever that was. No matter how you look at it, the amount of mana is increasing at a dangerous level. No single servant would be able to harness this much power safely. Even if Elizabeth had proper master, it's not something she could control. The mana starts to focusing, then it starts expanding, then it starts degenerating. At this rate, Elizabeth and the regalia will both shatter. <laughs> Wait! It's hovering around her fingernails, what the hell? What? Uh... Shit, this is the true timeline. Last time it just exploded. Sorry, Elizabeth, I'm not joining you. Uh oh. Tamamo might be broken. Says the one who still has her panties exposed for all to see. <sighs> I don't. You really are not my type. I'm pretty sure her tail is clipping through the floor. Yeah, well, we knew that, Drake. Her tail is clipping through the floor, or its outline is x-rayed through the floor. Alright, well, where does, um, do you know who come in? I know why Caster's letting her say all that. She must feel it, too. Whether Elizabeth is doing it on purpose or not, Caster must have seen who she sounded like. Elizabeth and Castor, princesses and courtesan, facing each other from across the throne room, both with the same destructive beauty, the monstrously royal gestures. Both of them anti-heroic spirits, both tainted by the supreme power of royal authority, both of them brazenly haunty queens. Neither of them can ever help surrendering to their greed. They each want to be the tallest, most beautiful flower. They know their beauty makes others suffer. They want to see its power over everyone, entire countries worth of people, and swallow everything whole. I see that now, as Elizabeth stands before Castor like she would with a mirror. No, the bad ending is Medusa. Meanwhile, I will die, and then every single servant will disappear. Because that's how it is. Something, 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 Vlad the Impaler. 
Bring the taxes out of them. We pay taxes in here? I thought this was supposed to be a paradise! Wait. Uh. Is she gonna eat it? She's gonna eat it. Seriously, what? Oh my god, she's gonna eat the fucking ring. That's gonna give you some serious indigestion. Uh, the fuck? I get that she's a dragon, but what? What? Well, dragons do love shiny things. What was she supposed to do with that sparkling that close to her mouth? They say dragons hoard treasure for no good reason, but maybe she has reasons. Maybe they're perfectly good reasons. Who am I to ditch? How are we going to get it out? Because, um, yeah. No thanks. She's going to explode. And now she suffers a very painful fate. Because you ate a fucking power ring. What did you think was going to happen? The mana focuses and condenses. Elizabeth's body is about to explode. Servant or not, there's no way she can hold that much power inside her. So she was unworld unworthy. Why do you care? You're a fucking traitor. The amp volume's too high. She's losing it. She is losing it. And he cares because it will destroy the regalia. How horrible. Uh-oh. Um, I'm sorry, what? That is a dragon tail. Usher aid, dearest, no need. Um, Scared noises. Very scared noises. Yeah, the tail's pretty cool. The tattoo is not so much. It's gone. Half the symbol of the moon cells automaton's royal authority. Gone? Just like that? So is Altera going to appear at all, or is it just going to be Elizabeth this time? Oh, and now she's wearing something possibly more skimpy than what she was wearing before. Oh wait, unless that's a bodysuit. 
UFC Elizabeth? What? She have a third name change? Um. Uh. Oh, great! She's a titan! It comes out of nowhere. A powerful strike from the true name of her noble phantasm being revealed straight on. Archimedes doesn't have time to evade or even block it. All he can do is take it. This noble phantasm is more powerful than anything I've ever seen from Elizabeth. It blows Archimedes completely away, without leaving so much as a single speck of spi Spiritron. <laughs> the digital body of the Arch hero spirit Archimedes is completely erased. Did absorbing the regalia upgrade her powers? Is the explanation that simple? Okay, I like this way more, because I thought they were just going to insert, like, Altera as the antagonist each time. No, we have Elizabeth. Another reason, Elizabeth is dangerous now, maybe to all of us. I feel unique tension, something I can't describe in words all around me. Caster takes on a combat stance. I can't say I blame her. She looks ready to go. I'd like to point out, Elizabeth has three different character models. I don't even know if we can use that one. Dark Eliz Dark Eliza squared. <sighs> also, her eye color has changed. Emergency warp. Oh, no, Altera is going to show up. The sky, it's splitting. Fractures run through it like cracks in glass. Oh, she does show up. It's not from Castor. It's from something strong enough to split the world. Dark Zero Thirty. Or Zero Dark Thirty. Hi, Altera. Um, now is really not a good time. At all. You seduced my husband. <laughs> Are you going to eat that one too, Elizabeth? Beyond the hole in the world, another dimension. A pitch black one, I can't see a thing inside it. Until black lights come swarming outward. What are they? Attack programs? No, maybe there's something else. What they are is broken. The lights might have been attack programs once, but now they're warped. Corrupted. They've been afflicted with a disease... Okay, yeah, we've done this one. Oh, so those two actually fight. Uh, is she talking to me or Eliza? Oh, well, there goes Eliza. I stretched my hand out, but I can't reach far enough. Some power... It's gone in a heartbeat. The murky stream sweeps away the girl who swallowed the regalia. Scared noises. As the maiden in white gives a signal, the army stops in its tracks. Maiden in white. Ah, of course, I've seen her before. <laughs> Her brown skin, tall and slender. Okay. 
Uh oh. That's her phantasm! Thank goodness for blocking. That flash shaved off a piece of existence itself. It even destroyed the air. Just being near it makes my head pound and my guts quiver. If Caster hadn't protected me, I don't know what would have happened. Great King of Destruction. That's what she called herself. And I know exactly what she's she I know she means exactly what she says. That's a little disappointing. I was kind of excited that we'd have a different antagonist for this one. Oh, that was a regular attack? Oh. Yay. Uh, is it retreating time? Caster's voice is serious. She holds on to her regal confidence, but I can see she's under pressure. Much more so than with Saber. She's not just perturbed or confused. There's something deeper and darker churning inside her. Something like... The red eyes gaze towards us. Like I know they have been before. That vision in my room. I saw her face, and heard her voice. A servant I shouldn't know, but still I remember her name. The Sword of Mars, the Scourge of God. A servant who sleeps in the zero dark and can reach up to heaven's throne. Her name is... Attila. Wait, Attila's a heroic spirit? Wouldn't she be... Wouldn't that technically be an anti-hero? An anti-heroic spirit? Caster announces the name. It's not the first time I've heard someone say it. I hear a familiar voice. Who's speaking? Caster? No, it's the other person. In other words, here. In other words... The other me, because there's three of us. From beyond the breaking of the world, someone walks out of the darkness. At first, I can't see the vicar's face. But I don't have to. I know what they look like. The same voice calls out. This is not what you promised, Altera. I don't want to see this much destruction from you. It's my voice. If I heard my own voice played back to me, it would sound just like that. And the voice belongs to the man who stands beside Altera. It's almost like we've seen this all before. Yep. Faced with such a powerful presence, Caster stands her ground, unflinching. I'm impressed. I don't think she's ever met anyone this hell bent on destruction. Not in the Holy Grail War, and not in the Labyrinth. So what is this feeling? Could Caster know her? The Maiden in White, the Warrior of Destruction. Does she know who or what Altera is? Hmm. So Talamo knows more than she's letting on. Hmm. Oi! No one talks to my wife like that. I guess the real Tamamona Mai visited Attila the Hun. Noted. Well, that's just rude. Uh, escape time? The tree. Escape. 
Oh, and then we're just casually back at home. Wonderful. Lil Boo's side story added. Your content added to the gallery. Mystic Codecraft. Reward. Alright, uh, we're gonna do whatever bond events are available. And then I'm gonna go watch YouTube or take a nap. Oh, we don't have next yet? Oh, we're at 13, not 14. Okay. I mean, mm -mm. <laughs> he's known as the Tamamo, the Tamamo killer, so already off to a negative start with me. Winded, does that mean it is cuddle time? She's right. Altera is one severely powerful woman, and we were both winded to begin with after fighting Saber. It's a wonder we survived it all. And I'm definitely a little drained myself. I think I'll just get some rest for now. Oh. Hmm. Temple of Pleasure is always open for both healing and relaxation. <laughs> is it hot tub time? Temple of... what? Lovely, lovely. She must be tired. Might as well call the palace Jungle Palace or Donkey Palace while we're at it. Okay, I'm tired too. I swallow all those words and settle down. Other Are there other people here, Tamo? Finish adding all these other features. What features? Well, it looks like she's in a good spirit. She's in good spirits, at least. I'm glad for that. I said. One futon and two pillows. For some reason, I feel like. Wait. For some reason, I feel like rest is the last on her mind. Certainly. What did I just say? I don't think she's gonna actually let me rest. Just as I think she's going in for a hug, she collapses on the futon, taking me with her. As I look up in surprise... Tama wants a new kimono. Oh my god! I would happily buy her a new kimono, I should mention that. She's so cute! WHY ARE YOU SO CUTE?! She's fallen asleep so fast it almost looks like she fainted. How much shaka has she had? Um... Well, actually, considering how much we had to pick up to use all our Excel maneuvers, probably quite a bit. Carrying me all the way back here must have really taken a toll on her. As I caress her soft face, I close my eyes. At least the battle with Saber is over now. We can start worrying about Altera when we wake up. Aww. Sleepy Tamo. Yes! The lap pillow was not a lie! Lap pillow business. Yes! It was not a lie! Victory! I may be a little too tired for this! But I don't care! That took long enough. Indeed. The lap pillow was not a lie. Low resistance shrine maiden pillow. LRSMP for short. Second noble phantasm. Oh boy. Caster's fingers gently brushed through my hair. Ah, uh, yes. That line about her second noble phantasm was not an exaggeration. And kind of... In fact, I kind of wish it was her first. That eightfold blessing is useless. It's the back of your neck. Uh oh. Maybe. I shake my head like an otter. Hopefully she gets the message. 
Anyway, back to Caster's lap pillow. This soft, elastic feel could never be replicated with the finest advancements in pillow technology. <laughs> there's no, in there's an eminence to it that just can't be matched anywhere else. <laughs> to pull it as eloquently as I can right now, it feels really good. I am, I am trying to contain myself. Really, <laughs> I feel like I'm about to start laughing. <laughs> the laugh connoisseur. <laughs> Ordinary lap pillow. See how your head is locked in place? Did she just squeeze me with her thighs? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, on top of the lap pillow, another stimulant has taken control of my upper body, including my arms and head. Is this an ear cleaning? Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to send this to Ethan afterwards. Spirit Shone. I love her so much. Surrender. I surrender. Head pets forever! This is a little embarrassing. I should be thanking you. That tickles! That tickles. That really tickles, but it also feels really good. It's like I'm in heaven. But it does tickle. And if I have to be honest about it, the tickling is kind of getting irritating. Fuck, I chose the second op- I chose the wrong option. Damn it! Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Time to bring out my third noble phantasm. You're cleaning. I chose the right one! <laughs> Tamo Ninpo. Spinning mountain storm. Top to bottom and everything will be- Oh no! Oh no! At the boom of Caster's voice, the world starts spinning vigorously. Oh no, I chose the wrong one! Caster smiles as she cackles from her core. A thought crosses my mind. Will this technically be ninjutsu or jujitsu? Square lock. Oh no! Victory feast? Oh no! <laughs> Not a chance. I know my martial arts. She and I roll around on the mats as clashes and bangs fill the room. In a way, it's like we're just getting to know each other all over again. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Seth, please tell me you clipped that. <laughs> Can we do more talking? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, I need to go get some water. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You clip that. I'm gonna go get some water and then we're gonna keep playing because I'm having a blast. <sighs>
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be a fun stream. Doesn't match her ears. <coughs> um, no, her hair is all. <coughs> her hair has always been pink. Anyway, as cute as the casual spring clothes are, let's switch to Blue Magician wear. Because the animations don't really sync up as well. <coughs> uh, okay, I'm I'm good now. <clears throat> I think. Maybe. Uh, XP. Healing items. New brigade. <clears throat> Normal attacks may deal poison damage. Wait. A3. Huh. What's the A stand for? Is this like the super advanced version? Does it mean like area? I'm curious. <clears throat> Two uses power of normal attacks. I guess this is like the normal normal attacks <sighs> okay what else did I miss in here because the new is gonna bother me uh, supreme attack noble phantasm okay well let's actually rest and go to chapter four <sighs> oh this is new Sparkles. I don't like your. Watakshino Shihai Ryoikiga, Tsugitsugi to Ubawarete Mas. Sekuni Eba, Hakai Sarete, Tadashino Desna. I regret looking in the bin. I didn't need that image. Karuna san, Raida san, Ryofsan no Hataraki de. Oh, so they're not even conquering our lands, they're just destroying them now. アルテラとハカイの軍勢を止めぬ限り、いずれセラフの全てはハカイ出尽くされるでしょう。え、ちょっと待って。え、だめ、I <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna get difficult, isn't it? Tamo is. Oh boy. Tamo does not have much belief in us, does she? That's not reassuring. Thank god that makes this conversation easier. If Castor decides to fight, then I, her master, will fight with her. Simple as that. Even if our chances are slim and we both end up eradicated. I'll have no regrets. I had decided from the beginning to see it through with Castor, to the very end. <laughs> you know, I had thought that, you know, maybe, maybe she's gone. Maybe we don't have to deal with her again. Oh, how wrong I was. She's back. Shut up, Elizabeth. This whole thing is your fault to begin with. Elizabeth Bathory appears before us in her full Dark Eliza persona. This castle has powerful barriers posted everywhere, so storming in directly, let alone sneaking in to detect, it's difficult to say the least. But she's done it. Yeah, 
Her tail looks like a crocodile's. They're less spiky. They're more spiky. Squeeze and drank you dry. Sounds like what Tamamo did last night, apparently. Throw you a bone. Umbral Star. Okay. Umbral Star. And there's the Queen's persona. She is not impressed. I mean, it's not really new. She was always sponsored by it. I can't tell if it's clothing or what. Also, I don't think she's actually wearing any panties now. But I don't really want to try and confirm that. Oh boy. Revenge! Don't let it consume you, kids. Well, I don't see any lines, and there's a small gap in her dress. And it's no noticeably not showing an upskirt. So, that's what I'm guessing. I mean, Taiho canonically doesn't have any panties in his air lane either. At least in her base skin. I don't know about the others. I know, at the very least, the sports queen skin does. Although, that's arguably the skimpiest skin ever. Ah, the flashbacks! For a split second, I think I see something. An illusion. No, a memory. An event that I witnessed, but that took place long ago. Something that carved a mark into the moon cell. I mean, at this point, it's similar to the original campaign, or the, not the original campaign, this is the original campaign, the Nero arc. The only real difference is Eliza, and they're destroying our lands, not conquering them. And yeah, I was right. She is the avatar of a Madaratsu. She just said Kawaii a bunch. Unless, so she's either saying younger student or cute. Or, there's a word for creepy that I don't know. Himaterasu. Amaterasu, not Himaterasu. Hitmaterasu. I have to clarify that, apparently. Dark Souls. <laughs> huh. 8.3% of players don't have the die for the first time achievement in Dark Souls. That's impressive. And what would that be? Is there supposed to be authority there? Take to a 
接触と捉えるものだからでもねムーンセルが唯一敵それが優勢 I already know about the Emperor Star. Ara, yatto mo i dashta ka shiro. So yo, sore sore, masa ni sore. Hoshok yusei velva. Then why haven't we killed it? Kono chikyu ken ni mo kita no yo. Toki shingai, shiyei. Age of Gods. Haruka no kako. Ichi man to yonsen nen mai no chikyu ni ne. I know the Age of Gods in this universe. That's where um Tiama comes from. And she's fun. Not really. She's one of the three calamities, I think there is. Moon cell let it send its material body. Hmm. Oh god, the PTSD. Well, that's not pleasant. I saw the ground burning. Okay. We've already read this before. If futures. Hmm. You'd think that, and yet here we are, dealing with this, with no contingency. Hmm. Hmm. ハッキングされまいと中枢部分を自閉状態にして閉じこもったでもこれじゃ守るばっかりでしょ剣を持って侵入者を排除する機能も残したいだ聖杯戦争の勝利者真には okay, this is about the same つまりねバカバカしいと思わないそれなら Okay, now this is we're back to new stuff. For some reason, I don't trust you. And the fact that you said your boss isn't aware of this deal you're trying to give us. Tells me that he doesn't probably he probably won't agree with it either. Mm. I wonder if there's an ending where we just submit. Trying to talk and catch up with her. So were they friends? I don't. I think until the Hun did that. Although his real name is Chinggis Khan. I, I wanted to say Genghis, but no, it's Chinggis Khan. I think. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm going to be really upset if I don't. Okay. 
So Altera is a anti-heroic spirit. I was right. More than likely because you tried to attack me. That's my guess anyway. I don't know what she has planned. I mean, you making a stone that kills anyone that walks past it kinda. Plainly work with the anti heroes. Uh, I have no idea. Ugh, I feel tired. I might actually take a nap today. Not now, obviously. I want to I want to play this more, but Monsters just kill each other. Kind of how they work. Ugh. Stretch. Uh, Tamo, have you eaten humans? I'm a little... I'm a little concerned. Tabamo, have you been eating humans behind my back again? Really has. Oh, great. So, Tabamo was into Vor. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, scared noises. Unless she means in a sexual manner. I... When she says devouring, I'm gonna guess it's in a more sexual manner. Considering she was a courtesan to the emperor. Which is a prostitute, so... Uh, we're gonna go with that. Mm. I'm done MCing around. Main charactering around? Okay, yep. Time to destroy a dragon. Wait, did she show? Did she grow a second pair of horns? I feel like she did. Well, Karno, why are you still here then? If you're still here, then you obviously didn't fight hard enough. Oh yeah, Karno exists. Ancient Temple Territory. Wait, he's? Wait, are we going to try and turn Gilgamesh over to our side? That's right. Yay! Artillery! Okay, do we have bond event time? Maybe? しかし、随分とまあ、ご体操な敵が立て続けに現れ、なんです英雄さん魔の放棄星やらの戦兵、どんなエイリアンが来るものかと思いきや。
No, no, that's not until next game. I think. Poor Tamo. Let's get some head pats for Tamo. She deserves them. Her expression doesn't match her tone. What does she really think? Can the Queen of the Empire take on the King of Heroes? Uh, I didn't say anything. Jump card. Oh, destined husband. Wait, so we're not actually married. She she has a destined husband. So we're not actually married. Mm. I hope that's the ending. We just get married and have a very wholesome time. Wow. Now that's the caster I know, standing tall in the face of unbeatable foe. Well, yes, I have just floofed your tail. I am on maximum floof energy. Uh, that's... Yes. So many ideas. Oh boy. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little curious what her ideas are. <laughs> Just a bit. I have to ask first. Uh, what do we know about Altera? Uh... Oh. She doesn't want to talk about Altera. Um, we haven't done the Bond events yet. Uh... I don't think anyway. We're at bond level 13. So, why aren't we... Why aren't we... Mm. During a battle of the servant line of first strike. Oh, that's actually rather easy. But yeah, I, I, want, I want the bond events. Because I want the outfit. And granted, we have the outfit in the next game, so we'll be able to use it, but still, I want the outfit. Why are we still in enemy territory? Oh great, he refers us as mongrels. Wonderful. Well, I was gonna switch outfits. Commanding the forces of destruction. Look out for plant reinforcements. Noted, and it looks like they're gonna go that way. Alright, those guys are dead, so we can move. We can probably move up to that area. Kill the mesh. Alright, let's see how quick we can get over there. Because we might be able to stop the invasion. Go. Okay, I think we made it. Alright, I think we managed to stop the invasion. No, no, we did not. And they're about to win. Again. And I have lunch. The, the concept. I want to eat lunch so badly. Alright, where's the last? Oh, we haven't killed enough yet. Alright, where is he? There he is. Go 
Oh, looks like we're dealing with Joan de Arc. Oh, um, we apparently unlocked a new combo. I was expecting that. Yeah, let's just be in on loot art gene. I'm gonna take a bite of noodles. My mistake. It's mac and cheese with uh, turkey meat. All of you will burn. Holy crap, their invasions need to stop. Counter. Gene's dead. That place is worth a lot. Good news is we are no longer in danger of losing. Boo might be having some issues, but I cannot say for sure. All right, where's the last one? There he is. Poison wind. I just need to conquer. One. Oh, Altera kicked his ass. Whoops. Well, we can stop it right here if we conquer this place. Let's go ahead and do that. She's coming over here, but I can't tell. This should hopefully be enough to kill them. No bomb. Oh, you're kidding me. I hate this thing with a burning passion, and I want it to die. Oh, we win. Now comes the hard part. Now I need to conquer all the other areas. Well, um, also defending ourselves from the boss. 
Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that at all. Now this is Altera, right? Yes. Yes. It is very much Altera. Alright, come here, you. Ow! She interrupted my combo. You prick. Medusa, help me. Ow. I meant to hit Altera, but I'll take the... I'll take these. Excuse me. Where is she? Okay, my down heavy attack is murder, apparently. Alright, vengeance time. Corroded Eliza Elizabeth. That's what the C stands for. Can I just do this going forward and just constantly hit her? I can. <laughs> I can just heavy attack forward. Alright, where is she? Yes, I am. Using the power of my flames. <laughs> I'm not spamming. I'm just using my best move first. I bullied her into a corner. Uh, that was fun. Burn them all. Okay, that was that was fun. Let's actually work on killing these guys. Alright, she's dead. And that one's dead too. So next we go this way. I meant to hit the plant, but this will do just as well. So this should be a max damage hit. I know at the very least we hit, we leveled up. Grab that. Wow, they took another sector. I mean, not that it really matters, considering we've won already. But that's annoying. There's the last one. Again, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, I have all my phantasm circuits. Huh. Cool. Which means I can use my phantasm on Gilgamesh as soon as we see him.
feel like dodging and pressing Y gives a brighter area. Uh. How about a no? Yeah, that thing's dead now. <sighs> I I do not like the sword shield thing. I like shield, but don't like the aggressor. I don't even know what type that is. It's definitely not a berserker. Ow. Alright, where's the blue? There it is. Alright, so we're gonna have to go down and over there next. Should be enough to charge all of them. Yep. We spam this. Okay, plant time, and then we go fight the boss. And we'll have dialogue, and I'm gonna call it there for today. Got it. I hope this kills it. I'm be disappointed otherwise. Wasn't enough to kill it to get the generation or the new aggressor. Shame. Monk. Where is he? There he is. Did I push him off? Yes, I did. Fairly certain he is behind me. Oh. Spin roll our way to victory. And here's the final thing. Where is there one in here? I know there's at least one pitcher. Usually. Though in this case I guess not. That'll work. Okay, boss time. Let's go. Extravagant pleasure houses. That sounds, um, nice, I guess. Okay. Hi, Gilgamesh. You're gonna die very quickly. There we go. Oh, that didn't even scratch him. Oh. Poison Stomp it is for you. Oh, 
Swamp. No guarding. Take your vic take your death with pride. And melt in the acid. <laughs> that is a smug Tomo. <sighs> ah, max combo. Oh, we almost got another. We almost got a flawless EX run. Hmm. Pow. We also went up four levels and got a new combo. We have a lot of B parts. Oh, now we're Bond rank 14. Hey Ray, we pleased everyone today. That is some rock music. Portion? Uh oh. Oh no! Did they attack from the rear, the front, or the back? No, wait, the rear, the front, or the left? One way trip. Oh, poor Lubu. I wish you luck, Lubu, and hope you don't die. <laughs> I feel like there's a joke there, but I don't know enough to understand it. So this is in much more dire straits than Nero's event, Nero's place. Because we only have effectively two generals left. Nero had all, all of hers. You're gonna stay and fight to the last? I'm expecting Medusa to kinda fuck off. Aw, Karna. You're socially awkward. More decent. Thanks, Medusa! Prepared to take your life. Ah. Thank you? For not killing me? Decent master. I don't know why the blue wasn't capitalized. That looks weird to me. Then we will fight to the last. Mohaya, Wanga, Tekok to Ovichu Tatak Kotova Naku, 
これより先は孫をことなきレジスタンス。セラフを支配する。Do I keep going? せいぜい知らしめてやるとしましょう。Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. Let's keep going. Because at this point, we're almost at the end. We have a little bit more. Hello, Caster. This is Zero Dark. Oh! So, this is a new map then, because I don't think we went to the Zero Dark before. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. I was worried she was about to kidnap me again. ご主人様、ごめんなさい。どうやら私は終始こんな調子ですので、え、愛想を尽かされたならそうおっしゃってください。私承知しました。それではさようなら。Oh, hell no, we're staying with Tomo to the end. Hearing her modest words, I managed to smile. Not out of amusement, but out of affection. Here she is, the queen of the Millennium Capital, and I finally see her softer side. Aside from this palace, everything she had is shattered now. And all the glory she thought she had is gone. Under the weight of all that, she finally says it. Her show of courage. As she tries so hard to be the perfect wife, it's everything I could hope for in one. At the same time, I know there are still things she's holding back. I think there's something she's ashamed of. Something she can't express yet. And that's a bigger issue than the Umbral Star, even if it's hard to put, up it, put it all into words. All I have to go on, as far as that goes, are vague feelings and subtle gestures. Like the way she closed her eyes in apology. Regardless of all that, I should let her know where I stand. I may only be the soul of Kixerdoya, and maybe there's more going on than I understand, but... I've known from the start that I'll stay with Castor until the very end. In her clear golden eyes, my reflection glitters like luminous starlights. Her beautiful gaze sweeps me away, far from the threat of threat to Seraph or the other to the Seraph or the Earth. I'm getting tired. My tongue is bleh. far from the 14,000 years cycle of destruction. Everything else disappears in an instant. I want to be with her and only her, even if it's for this just this one moment. Caster, you've lived an extravagant life. Should have decided anything that didn't interest you, and all without caring what anyone thought. Though you were cast as a villain. Your insight and your natural curiosity brought out the best in other people. Despite sometimes feeling ashamed of the evil inside you, you're still fighting to overcome it, and always with a smile. We will hug her until the end. The instant she whispers, I feel my body is slipping away to falling away. Ow! Why do you keep kidnapping me? Stop kidnapping me, damn it. Humble Star will erase your entire story. Interesting! Yep. The maiden in white, the embodiment of destruction, is there in front of me, red eyes peering at me curiously. Even the hardened warrior I always knew she was. Oh, ever the hardened warrior. Good. Then this victory will be assured. Masani 
だがこれだけでいい理解しろ私が求めるのはムーンセルではない、うん、レガリアだいかにお前が愚かであろうと<笑>この意味だけは理解できるな<笑>はい。I try to think through what I want to say to her. I want to ask why her tone seems different this time, compared to the last time she appeared in my room. I want to ask which is the real Altera, but then again, I don't think either one is a mask she wears. Okay, yeah, I can't. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do the final, the last mission today. I need, I need to rest. Uh. Oh, that's her thing. Okay. Ow. Live on as my slave. No, thank you. キャスターと共に未明領域に移っさせて何のフッシュの分の件によって OK バイアナザーディズニースペル When I opened my eyes the maiden in white is gone in her place is Castor shaking her head Her face is closer to mine than last time I must have made her worry Of course Of course I made her worry I think I was catatonic just now I summarize what happened. Altera apparently came to ask us to surrender. If we hand over the regalia and renounce our will to fight, she implied she might spare us. Maybe, theoretically, we can negotiate with her, but even so. Even so, the end result would still be the same. She said as much herself. Seraph and Earth would both die. So, what would that mean for us? Would we buy a little more time for ourselves before we followed everyone else into oblivion? Or maybe she'd invite us to side with the Umbral Star. And follow it around the galaxy while it eats other civilizations. Wait, why am I even thinking about this? My mind would definitely reject that offer in a heartbeat, and so would I, because no matter how you look at it, it sounds unpleasant to say the least. And that would be. Nope. No. Oh crap. Before I can even answer that, she pounces on me. I don't have the time. I don't even have time to answer to question who's drawing in who. Speaking of time, this isn't exactly the most opportune moment. Or maybe it is. There's no one left in the palace. The other servants have left to spend their last night in their own way. Even Elizabeth, Dark Souls, your dead appears. <laughs> who would normally interrupt us right about now has gone over to the Emerald Star's side. There's just us in this empty room overlooking our entire capital with no one to stop us. Oh, so that's why the mother the mother tag is added onto Tomo no my in Vedic still link. <laughs> Unless I change my mind. Uh oh. I can't see anything. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. My heart. It hurts. 
So, did we fall asleep or, um, next morning you take two points of slashing damage? <laughs> oh, I guess we fell asleep. I hear a whisper. Still on the edge of slumber, it takes me a moment to realize who's talking. Of course, the voice is unmistakable. The only one who talked to me from so close by is... Castor. Although there's no one le else left in the castle. So... I really want to pat her head. That's... At first, I don't understand. The way she's talking is... The way she's talking, is she punishing herself? Or is she talking to Altera? Since she says they're the same, I hear pity in her voice, but something else too. Something closer to her heart. When I think a little more, it hits me. Does Tamo believe that Altera is suffering too? Does that mean Altera has a heart? Uh, excuse me. Yes. I heard every word of that. Oh. Nope. 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 Uh-uh. We're going back. We're redoing that. We're getting the good choice. I know, Drake. You're excited. But yeah, we're going... Wait. Shit, that may have, um, may have just, um, fuck. I may have fucked myself because we finished the story. Please tell me we don't have to do it over again. I hope not. Okay, no, we're good. I don't answer. I don't even try to remember any of it. What Castor said, she said for herself. Okay, talk. Oh. Do you get to do bond events now? Yes! It's bonding time! Hi! And now we go through all the bond events. Indeed. Although I believe Nero complained about that. It's, it's bad time. I think she's right. When it comes to lounging in hot baths, nothing beats what they have in this dimension. My temperature's rising. Not just from the water, but from the feel of her knee against mine. And the water alone doesn't account for the pounding in my chest. For the two of us, this bath is just the right size. Or so I'd say. Just love size. Aww. Love size. Uh... She is just the right amount of wholesome head pat and lewd. Pink beautiful skin. The redness of her blushing face. Once again her cheerful smile gleams like the sun. Of course, I can see her skin. We're in the bath together. Now I want a hot shower. Oh. Oh. We've been close for a while now, and she's saying provocative words. 
but she's not coming any closer either. Neither of us are looking at each other as much as you might think. Is it really okay? Well then, I won't let myself stay nervous about it. It's kind of a relief, and kind of not so much. Uh oh, she's staying too long. What kind of a... How... How drunk did you get, Tamo? The answer is yes. I don't have time to respond. In the next instant, Caster moves in with no resistance at all. Uh, she's so... So... Hi! Soft. Warm. Thank you very much. Um... I should have gone for soft. I should have gone for soft. Ah, oh, we only did one? Okay. Well, as I said earlier, Tamamo knows what you're saying. I'm gonna end it here because I'm tired and I need I need to break and it's almost three hours. Install skills. Hey, there it is. Hmm. Didn't seem to do anything. Still didn't do anything. Oh, okay, so these guys are the only ones that go up. Ah, oh, well. This is the last thing, so. Okay. Wondering about that. Anyway, this has been an extra long episode, and honestly, it's probably going to be the entire series, but thank you all for watching, and thank you for being here for Tombo Time. I'm going to go to bed now. Oh, see you later, guys.